my goodness, do you have a leaf? Do you have a leaf? In the 25 years since Stephanie Bergman was diagnosed with depression, she's tried the gamut of treatments. I was ready to try anything to be able to support myself and to be a better mom, better daughter, better wife. Natasha's taking your uh, scalp measurements so we can accurately locate the region we need to stimulate. Not all treatments worked, but Stephanie says this newer form of brain stimulation helps her feel like herself again. Repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, or RTMS, is approved by Health Canada for treatment-resistant depression and obsessive-compulsive disorder. Patients at Sunnybrook's Harquill Centre for Neuromodulation have had access to it since 2019. It involves the application of magnetic pulses to stimulate the brain through the skull in a non-invasive way. Dr. Jacoby says treatments only take a few minutes and are done daily over several weeks. He says side effects are minimal and about 80% of patients experience some level of improvement. What we know in depression is that some parts of the brain are underactive and others are overactive. And by administering the energy in a discrete area of the brain, direct to the brain, we're able to rebalance the uh, connectivity. So we're able to find the individual dose for the, for the person and then uh, administer the TMS accordingly. In addition to RTMS, Stephanie continues to take medications and uses light therapy at home during the winter months. She hopes sharing her experiences will help others. Learning to accept the difficulties that you have and learning how to cope with it um, because depression doesn't go away. So it's two minutes of discomfort for a lot more gain. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.